today's video is done in collaboration with I Like Hair. You guys know I have worked with them before and today we have a very new, very innovative wig to try on. Well, not try on because I've actually been wearing this wig for several weeks now. So it's sort of more like a demo or tutorial style video today. It's going to be a little bit different. This wig from I Like Hair is new and it's in my opinion, a very innovative wig, you guys. Personally, it's become one of my favorites and I, I think you all will really enjoy it as well. But before we get into the details and the specs of this wig, if you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, especially if you enjoy this type of content. I have lots of wig videos on my channel if you're interested in trying some new wigs. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started all right so here is the wig like i mentioned before i've been wearing it for several weeks now so this is not how it comes straight out of the box okay i'm gonna brush it a bit look i previously curled it some of the curls are still in there i will show you all what the wig looks like um a couple of disclosure i have dyed this wig i dyed it jet black because my natural hair is jet black and it's meant to be worn with your natural hair it came in a natural sort of dark brown color as you can see my real hair is jet black so now it's the same color as my natural hair now this wig what makes it innovative is the fact that you can wear it in many different ways this wig is considered a half wig and even though it is a half wig it has a lace closure it has a four by four lace closure on it which I've already tinted with some makeup, but I'll probably add some more. And I've also already cut the lace. You do have to cut the lace, it doesn't come pre-cut. It comes with two combs in the front. There is one comb in the back. There is an adjustable elastic band. And then here is the fun and innovative part that I love most about this wig. It comes with a drawstring, yes. A drawstring like a ponytail drawstring and you can tighten it as tight as you want or need it to okay and that way you can wear it in many different styles and I will show you all a couple of ways that I've been wearing this wig so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of my bronzer to the lace of this wig I'm using the Nika K dual contour palette I'm gonna be using uh, this shade right here because it's my bronzer shade I want this wig to match the makeup that I have on so all right so like I mentioned before I have been wearing this wig for several weeks like two and a half weeks now so it is kind of pre-styled in the way that I've been wearing it it still has a few of the curls from when I last curled it now if you go to order this wig on the website you'll see that it is called a half wig now even though this is technically a half wig it still has a 4x4 closure so you can still wear it as a full closure wig. And I'll show you all how to do that. So you obviously want to tighten or adjust the elastic band and you just throw it on like any other glueless wig. And then once you have it, you know, where you want it at, you want to take the drawstring Pull that bad boy and tighten it that way it's extra secure and then obviously let me brush it now all right so ignore the waves it's just wavy because i had curled it previously now because it has a lace closure on the unit you can wear it as a closure wig as well and it looks pretty natural and seamless okay so that's the first way that you can wear this wig. now if you want to take it a step further this is a half wig and you can leave out as little or as much hair with this wig as you like you can leave out just your edges on the perimeter and I'll show you all really quick how to do that you can literally just pull your edges out right here at the front
And because this wig is a kinky straight wig, kinky straight texture, you don't necessarily have to lay your edges with edge control. You don't have to do the whole extravagant baby hair. Now you can if you want to, if that's your thing. I have been wearing it that way a little bit sometimes, but on a lazy day, I just take the edges out a little bit and leave it like, like this. And therefore you can't even tell whether or not it's a wig. You feel me? Look. Wig wear. Okay. Now, I also want to show you all how to wear it as a half wig. Now, my hair is not braided underneath this. I have most of my hair pulled back into a bun. And then I left out about an inch, inch and a half of my hair around the front. And I just sort of twisted it to the side. To the, well, I mean, twisted it to the back. But I'm going to go ahead and take the twist out. And then show you all how I blend my real hair with this half wig. So here are the twists that I was talking about. And my hair is just pulled back into the bun. Alright, so this is how much hair I have left out. You can see it's about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Before I put the wig on, I want to make sure that my part, my real hair, is like on point. So... It needs to be as straight as possible. Okay, so I have straightened the rest of my hair and defined my part. Um, I think when you're doing wearing the wig as a half wig, that part is important. You definitely want to make sure that your part your natural hair is defined that way you can line it up perfectly with the part on your wig now i already have my wig parted all right so i'm just gonna line up the part on the wig with the part in the hair okay see that line that up then add the combs to the side now i'm pulling down the back tightening the elastic band so that's pretty lined up now to sort of you can kind of tell the line of demarcation here now to kind of blend that I'm going to mix the hairs together by combing my hair with the wig hair let me show you And then I'm also going to add some more of the bronzer that I'm using on my actual scalp so it matches the lace on the wig. And now, can't tell the difference between my hair and the wig. My handy dandy flat iron and I do some quick flat iron curls. But I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to take me a minute. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so I've curled this wig kind of loosely and quickly. Again, using my flat iron. I'm going to brush them out because it's how I like for it to look. Alright, so this is pretty much how I like to wear this wig. What do you think? Again, it's a half wig, so you can leave out as little or as much hair as you like. You can leave out just your edges, an inch of hair, half of your hair, or no hair at all. You can also put it in a ponytail. Hi, ponytail. <laughs> Try not to mess up my curls. Hi, ponytail. Especially because if you wear it this way, pretty much all of the wig will be covered up by your real hair. You could also do it that way. It looks really cute looks very simple but that is pretty much it for this wig and I've said this already and I'll say it again this has been so far my favorite wig because I absolutely love the versatility of this wig I can wear it with no hair out I can leave as much hair out as if I want to I can put it up I can put it down I can curl it I can straighten it I can wear it wet it's it's a great wig and the price on this unit in my opinion is pretty affordable so I love this wig and I cannot stop saying that 
All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this gorgeous wig and if you are considering trying it i will leave all of the details in the description box down below thank you i like hair for sponsoring today's video i absolutely love this wig y'all did y'all thing with this wig for real thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i definitely enjoyed making it for you subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you all in the next video